What's up guys, this is Shona and today we are at Residency Suasana at Damansara Damai. Let's go! We are back here again in Damansara Damai where you have the commercial areas, you have the McDonald's, you have the school, you have the mosque you have the amazing park just by judging the condition of the road if you look into the walkways if you look into the maturity of the trees you look into the fringe so far so good along that same street without even crossing the road you will have access to this park called I play park it looks absolutely like a forest but inside is actually managed by the local municipal this can be a hangout place for you and your family during the weekend or even during the evenings also something to point out this location really has been the go-to location whenever developers were to provide social housing hence you can see the five-story apartments across this entire ones so in a five to ten minutes drive or you want to take your motorbike you can reach this new and upcoming MRT station this brings you very 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 close to the city and this improvement in infrastructure will change the entire game for Damansara Damai that's why recently there's a lot of upcoming buildings all leveraging on this station itself but it really depends on whether do you need to use it every day or not and I think now let's go to the unit itself mm. Before we go into the unit, some facts right, there's 780 units in total but uh, it's divided into 3 blocks and currently it's divided into phases lah. So the first phase only left like maybe 10 units. So the second phase and third phase is still on progress, you can see partially it's still in construction and partially it's handed over. Then next to the lobby, this is to accommodate the ground floor units. There's this divider using landscape to somewhat provide that privacy or that safety lah. We are now in the car park and it seems pretty tidy just that there's a height limit to it la. this is in accordance to requirement the requirement is like 2.2 meters so for people who have higher cars you put your bicycle on top right your extra installation so take note because this is for fresh air but surprisingly next to your car park right can you hear the bird sound you have a jungle next to you. That's so cool. When we talk about coordinations between different traits, right? In this scenario, we have the coordination between structural as well as mechanical. So structural, it seems okay. They use the flat slab system, but you have the mechanical things that is actually eating up the height space. Hilux can go through, construction vehicles can all go through, so I presume it's okay. Every unit also comes with two car parks. So we are now in the facility deck and the first stop will be this barbecue area. And something to comment would be the coordination again between different trades. So some are for sewage, some are for fire sprinklers and you can see the structural elements are pretty deep. And that kind of like affects the space because like you can see a door right, the floor level was not discussed correctly hence we will have a lot of steps so you need to come down to go up right. So you have your kids pool, your wedding pool, and this will be your infinity edge swimming pool. And the edge overlooks to the park. That is so amazing. I don't think it's a park though. It's like a jungle, is it? <laughs> because you guys wondered why 1.2, that's the maximum depth you can go for a swimming pool without a lifeguard. So you have timber deck. And just when you wonder like what is this, right? This is the pump system. Okay. Then they just make it into a slide. Well, at least there's effort. And I'm glad that there's only like three towers where they leave this side open. So that will reduce the echo effect. When the kids go insane in the pool, it will be so noisy as their screams right, get amplified by the structures. Then next to it, you have the sun bathing deck. And in the center, you will have this void that is supposed to provide fresh air into the car park. Then you also have sitting areas next to your half basketball court as well as a volleyball court. Also something to take note, if you were to choose to buy, now you have an option where you want to go for the latest phase that is yet to be completed or you want to go for the completed ones, up to you. But do bear in mind when you move in at the first phase, currently I think there's still some ongoing construction that's going to take another 6 to 8 months. The construction noise and all, you need to bear for a little while. We are now in the G 
gym and you can see there's free weights zone, there's a cardio zone and it's laminated timber. But something to comment is again the termination of the mechanical elements. You can still find pipings like this being exposed that kind of just ruins the mood of the space. So overall, the facility deck has space, has scale, and the hero space will definitely the swimming pool facing the amount of greeneries that I did not expect. Totally juxtaposed with whatever situation that we have outside, right? That is so busy, filled with hustle and bustle. Just that I wish the coordination between trades can be done better. You have a lot of exposed pipings, a surprising depth of ceiling that affects the space. If all these details are actually tidied up by right, this facility, actually looks quite cool. Okay, as always, this is the review shaper. Okay. You have a window, um, full height wall tiles, but I think the door not installed yet. Now we are in the corridor and the width is nice. The width is a 2 meters width and the height is around 2.9. Currently what we see in the corridor, the scale is amazing. There are 3 lifts just serving 7 units. But then once you go up one floor, immediately it serves up to 15 units because of the topology of the car park in the center. Any units below level 6, right, you have value for money. Because generally the price for lower levels are lower and then you have less units per floor, then you get to enjoy the same the exact same common areas. This is a 1451 square feet. Once you come in, you have this amazing scale of living and dining. Next to your kitchen, then you have your yard connecting to the voids and you will have three bedrooms. You have a family hall which can be automatically converted into a room. this amount of space just for the foyer right that entrance statement is very nice you can see the ceiling is very clean and you have the void next to you coming into the unit you have the kitchen tucked right at the side connecting to the void so that gives you the opportunity of connecting to the exterior right using windows like this this is very very pleasant plus the entire design for all the units right starts from 1000 square feet and above it means it's targeting families and you have a topology of kitchen like this this allows for the opportunity for this to be partitioned up to have better control of ventilation then going through there will be the yard and again, isn't this insane? Plus, it's located next to the void hands, you still get natural ventilation, at least fresh air while you do your laundry. La. Okay. Right opposite would be this living and dining area. The width from this wall to that wall is almost 6 meters. And the ceiling height is around 2.9. But what contributes to the feeling of spacious again would be the window ratio to facade. If you were to look at the window, almost the entire area is covered by aluminium and glazing that allows more daylight into the space. Not only that, you have this balcony next to your dining area as well and that will be all your aircon compressors. Lah. Also, I appreciate the tidiness of structural elements within the unit. Everything is so tidy in the unit in contrary to the common facility areas. Lah. Three bedrooms, one, two, three, but this can be another bedroom by itself. Just something to take note is because this unit actually faces the yard itself, it might lack a little bit in terms of privacy. You can just add in a partition here and that can be your room really. And three of these rooms share this bathroom, full height wall tiles, we have Econex facing, WC, no shower screen, but I think the color it's okay la. and you have that small ventilation window. Next to that will be two identical rooms, I think you can use it to accommodate a single bed, you have the window, so I think the width is very nice. Or you want to use it in another setting where you can accommodate a double size bed like this and still have a lot of circulation space around the bed. I think that's very important. Plus. You have the window. Next to this, you will have the principal bedroom. And the scale is just crazy. Coming to the room, you will have your wardrobe on this side, your 
queen size bed and you still have ample of space you can work out here and still have a space for your dressing table and check out the L shaped window overlooking to the forest I don't know whether it's intentional by the architect for example the kitchen that it allows me to add up partitions that's nice the smaller bedroom I can leave it as a family hall or I can add up a partition into a room that's nice then the flexibility of converting my unit into a dual key if I were to use it for investment purposes that's nice or if you don't want to go through the partition you can just get the ready-made dual key unit from the developer directly from block C last of all it's wider than a common shared one again it's by Econax Basin Econax WC and I think that's all it's now time for Sean take 3 on 3 3 things I like is the maturity of this location you have connectivity to the highway where in one turn you get to NKVE and you get to go to Sri Damansara direction right where it connects you to Duke then you can also go to LDP generally you are connected then next to the site itself you have secondary school, primary school on the other side you have the park and my favourite of all would be FMB commercial center right opposite the development I don't have to worry about security within my own home but if I need anything I can just walk over and that seems to be a driving factor for a lot of residents where you can see there are still some works from the lobby itself not really completed yet but people are already moving in number two will be the value for money kind of think of it 450,000 I think the earlier phase is like cheaper lah. and the smallest starts from 1000 so generally the main target audience would be families because like in this unit itself you can have three rooms right yet a spacious kitchen plus a dining and living across a span of six meters and as we spoke just now the rental here because of the maturity of the address plus the upcoming completion of the MRT there's a lot of opportunities in terms of investment perspective as well and last of all we generally see a lot of social housing within this Damansara Damai area but because of this location sandwiched between the park and the school this gives this location that feeling of openness Right, on this side you have all the greens then on this side you have public buildings where you have the school fields you have open areas and check out the maturity of the trees along the fringe of the roads and that's one of the main reasons why I always encourage everyone to visit the site three things I don't like number one would be the coordination between consultants for the common areas lah. what we can see in the facility deck everything is provided right you have the volleyball court you have the basketball court you have the infinity eight swimming pool you have the gym and they actually have a special program where you have the therapist the sports therapist to be stationed in the gym just that the structural elements of the entrance to all these spaces can be improved and this can also be seen in the car park area where it still fulfills the authority requirement of 2.2 but I think it can be better Number 2 will be the floor plate design So you have 15 units per floor for standard ones Because of the topology of the building Certain levels are single loaded, certain levels are double loaded It's just the experience from my unit to the lift I think can be improved And last of all will be the stigma of traffic congestion in this area Because of the profile of Damansara Damai being high dense Plus there's only one way out to the highway right Developer knows this and there will be an alternative road to the highway so I think that's all for this unit. Do I like it? I actually don't mind having one because I was very surprised with the treatments within the unit in comparison to the common facilities. And shout out to the team for showing me this unit, right? Giving me the private tour. I really appreciate it. So if you really like this episode, like it, share it, and even subscribe for more information like this. Until next time, this is Sean Tan. Ciao.